So there's still a lot of ground. Uh, we've got the first hurdle now, the motion's been granted and it's going to be taking place on the 30th of March. There are some issues that need to be ironed out before we get there. The first of these is the speaker needs to settle the whole matter of a conflict of interest. Our argument is that any minister who stands to lose their two and a half million rand fat cat package has a conflict of interest. Should they be allowed to vote on their own future? Parliament's rules are clear that if you have a financial conflict of interest, that you need to make sure that that is resolved and you don't compromise yourself in that regard. How is a minister going to vote to retain themselves in, in the cabinet? We believe that's a conflict of interest. That needs to be resolved. Our view is executives shouldn't vote. Secondly, how the voting is going to take place. South Africa is expecting business and uh, South Africans to get back to normal, but yet Parliament refuses to sit in full plenary. We believe Parliament needs to come back in full plenary and individual members of Parliament must be given the opportunity to vote in this matter. Why do I say that? Because we elect members of Parliament. We make sure that each individual member on their council has a voting uh, a, a voting facility because it's individual votes of members of parliament that make up the majorities. What the speaker's hoping is that parties are just going to arrive on the day, we're going to have the debate, and then the ANC chief whip's going to stand up and say, the ANC supports the cabinet. Well, that's not true because we know there are members within the ANC that don't like the members of the cabinet. And if they were given an individual vote of conscience, they may well vote very, very differently. We believe South Africans have a right to know how their members have voted, not just hide behind a party mandate. Thirdly, should it be a secret ballot? And this is something that's going to have to be tested. We know that there's a great deal of intimidation from within the ANC about how people vote. We need to make sure that people have got the political cover to vote according to their conscience. So. The, out the gates now, but there's a lot of road for us to travel before we get to the 30th and a lot of key questions that need to be decided before that crucial vote happens to make sure that it's a vote that takes place in the best interest of the people of South Africa.